Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 16.5. Say that in Spanish. Point e e media or something? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Of the Calypso Cigar Review Podcast. Uh, we've been told we go a little long and people want shorter episodes, so this is something we're going to try. We're going to do a couple of supplemental episodes, uh, a little shorties, 15, 20 minutes long, of us reviewing just random cigars that we actually purchased on our own. I am smoking today the Alec Bradley Punk. And Randy, what are you smoking? I'm smoking the Liga Pravada T52 Robusto. I'm being a Liga whore today. Yay, Liga whores unite! Although I'm smoking Alec Bradley Nothing today. Wrong with that. I love it. So, um, we are at the Calypso Cigar Review. Sh uh, Calypso Cigar Review. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we're at that. We're at the, we're at the, yeah, we're at the Calypso Cigar Shop and Lounge in beautiful Richardson, Texas, like always. And um, this is a uh, one of my new favorites. It's a delicious little guy. It really is. It's a petite Corona. Kind of competes with the. Um, Drew Estate, my Uzi weighs a ton, Bait Fish, mm -hmm. which is a smaller cigar about like this. And I actually think this one tastes a little better to really? me. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you haven't had a 52 in a while. This is the first T52 I've had in two years, probably. Two years? Two years. Damn. Uh, it's better than I remember it being. I remember not being a fan at all. Yeah. At first. What uh, possessed but, you to try another one of those? Uh, it was damaged a little bit in the humidor, oh. so I thought I'd... Got gotcha. through it, and I am fighting through it, as you can tell. It's falling yeah, apart. Yeah, it is. The, the, the back of it's falling apart there. Yeah, right where I put my mouth, unfortunately. But, yeah. oh, well. It's, got a, it's got a little spicier than I remembered it being. Yeah. Uh, it's not as... I thought I had more of a cocoa taste, but I don't get any kind of a cocoa taste. No, it's more... on the 9. But yeah, you get the, the chocolatey on the 9, yeah. Yeah. more so on the 50, than on the 52. Yeah. Uh, but to me, I, to me, the 52 has a little more going on. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, my opinion of I it. Could, so. I could see that. I agree with that. And that was the Robusto size you said? I think it's Robusto, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like that size. Yeah. Nice taste. Uh, I don't know why the T52 doesn't sell as well here as the 9, but... The I nine. think there's a lot more... Um, I don't know. I would say it. I guess there's a lot more buzz around the 9. Yeah. Well, and, because uh, of that tobacco shortage yeah, issue the, from a couple the, years the ago. Yeah, the quote-unquote shortage. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that just, you know, people latched onto the 9 because of that. It's, right. it's harder to get. It was the mystery cigar that you right. always want to get that's never in stock. Now they're available, and people are still smoking that over the 52. But I, I think the 52 is a great cigar on its own. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would I would smoke it uh, every day if it was cheaper. Yeah, I'll, I'll smoke it. It'll, it won't be two years this time before I smoke another one. Yeah. But uh, you're right that uh, Punk is a great cigar. Yeah, I this is a little ass kicker. I love yeah. that size. Yeah. And, and you know. White Market's not even my favorite Alec Bradley I know. at all, but I love it. But that I, I just think this has, um, it has what I enjoy best about the Black Market. Mm -hmm. It's got that, that really robust flavor to mm -hmm. it. Um, well, a little, a, a, little yeah. a little more spice mm -hmm. than the uh, than the standard Black Market. And uh, yeah, it's a great smoke for something, if you want something that's like a 45 minute smoke, depending on how fast you smoke it, you might be able to power through it in 30, but it'll right. probably hurt you. I know a couple of our customers that would go through that in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I, I don't want to smoke it that fast. I enjoy that size. No, oh, it's a great smoke. And I know it's yeah. going to be a short smoke anyway, so I want to savor it as long as I can. Yeah, you can get 45, 50 minutes out of this if you yeah, take your time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, For sure. This so, uh, um, so what have you been smoking besides the 52 lately? Uh, the cigar that we're going to review uh, on episode 18, I guess it is. 18 or 17? 17 is Oliva. Okay. That comes up this week. Okay. And, okay. So I think it's our next podcast after the Oliva is the... Uh, La Gloria, I mean the La Roma de Cuba. Mm -hmm. I hadn't had one of those in years. Ah, and okay. we got the Mia Moore in. So uh, I had, uh, I don't have the Mia Moore. I had the classic line the other day, but I'm looking forward to this Mia Moore. Yeah, those are those are tasty. I like those a lot. Okay. Um, they're good cigars. You'll, I think you'll enjoy it. And I've had, sure. uh, I've had a couple of. I can tell you real quick. Uh, Brandon wants to vamp. I'll tell you some things I've smoked this week because it's all been new stuff. I've smoked a lot of new stuff this well, week. Well, I was on. I haven't seen Brandy in about ten days, which is odd because we're usually, you know. Once or twice a week we hang out. Um, but I was on vacation, and I took a whole bunch of cigars and me thinking, it's going to be great. I'm going to smoke cigars every night. It's going to be awesome. I smoked two freaking cigars all vacation <laughs> uh, just because I was dead tired at the end of the night, and I, I just couldn't get right. to where I would actually go enjoy one. Right. And I even brought mostly Coronas and Robustos with me because I knew okay, I wasn't yeah. going to have a whole lot of time. Smoke them, yeah. uh, and the only cigars I smoked when I was there is I smoked a, a Cuban Partagas um, in a tubo, and okay. I smoked a, um, what was the other one I smoked? Let's see. Oh, uh, uh, Tetuaje uh, Noella Reserve uh, 2011, which was freaking fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. Delicious really? cigar. Um, I've got some more of those. I'll get you one of those if you haven't had one. I've had, uh, oh, I revisited a couple. Okay. The uh, Illusioni Epernay. 
the look to the, the petite. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah, you cigar. mentioned wanting to try that again. That's a great cigar. Now. I hadn't had that in a long time. I really liked it. And then I had uh, the La Roma Monarch, mm -hmm. the, what we just mentioned. And another one I hadn't tried, and I don't know if you've tried this, the A Turret, the Triple Maduro. I have not had that, no. That is a great smoke. Oh, yeah? It's really nice. And I had it in a, uh, what size did I have? That was the Toro. What does and, that go uh, for? About it's like seven bucks. Oh, seven so considerably maybe. cheaper than yeah. the um, like-minded uh, Camacho Triple Maduro. Right. We got a phone call. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> a phone. No, it was a, it was a sales call. I could. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was someone calling to order. Yeah, right. <laughs> and if you want to do that, it's nine seven two seven six one nine nine zero three. Excellent. But so, uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely want to try that because I, I like. I have the, a triple uh, Corojo, which is good, but mm -hmm. we. Pull it off shelves because it didn't sell. Oh. oh, and I had the uh, the Cusada, the uh, uh, Tributo. Oh yeah, Manny Man Cusada. Yeah, yeah. Hadn't had that in a long time. Either. Great smoke. Yep, I like the uh, Oktoberfest. They have one that's called the Oktoberfest, okay. and it pairs really nicely with Oktoberfest beer. Oh, there you so, go. Yeah, there's a method to the madness. There is a method to the madness, and it seems like it was. They say it was blended for that. And you uh -huh. believe the hype or not, it does pair well together. Right. right. Uh, a friend of mine gave me one, and I, I tried it, and I was like, Yeah, okay. He's like, Oh, you drank the wrong Oktoberfest because I got the Shiner Bach one. He's uh, like, No, you should have got this one. I'm like, Ah, it's, whatever. It's Oktoberfest. It's Oktoberfest. Who cares? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, they. Have you ever had the Maker's Mark cigar? I haven't, no. I have one. It's, it, it's a nice a cigar. It's actually yeah. they made a nice cigar to yeah. go with it. It's milder. Yeah. But uh, it really, I, I find it goes better with Woodford Reserve than it does Maker's Mark, to be oh. honest. It's funny. That's it's weird, odd. yeah. <laughs> but it's a good cigar for a flavor, yeah. for a season. I hear, it's, I hear it's very mildly mm -hmm. infused. It doesn't, yeah. you don't really, and if you leave it, I guess if you take it out of the tube and you leave it, it goes away. Like, the infusion just I, goes. I can imagine that. I can yeah. imagine that. So... But can you imagine being in the seasoning room where that bourbon is just flying? Oh, man, that must man, be, be great. Just go in there and just smell, smell. until you're drunk. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what you gotta do. Sniff yourself That's to drunkness. It. That'd that be awesome. It. Yeah. But no, I had a good time on the uh, on the trip. It was just uh, a, lot of, a lot of driving. A lot, a lot, a lot of driving. Yeah, I've made that drive a lot. I used mm -hmm. to live in Florida. I used to live about 100 miles from where you went. Mm -hmm. That is a long drive. Yeah, it is. It's, no, it, it is, it's kind of fun, though, because it was a different drive, at least. It wasn't as... Um, you know, I'm used to driving to Houston, used to driving to Austin. This was something new, but it was a lot of the same new after a while. Right. Once you get about five hours in, you're like, all right. Oh, you went down that way? Hmm? You went that way? No, we went. No, we came back that way because oh, we, we had to drop. We had to go back. We had okay, to stop by Houston on the way back. So. I got you. I made that. We were listening to a book on tape. We are coming back from Florida. Mm. And I missed the bypass that we usually take. Oh, and no. We were like 100 miles past it and realized that, oh, I guess we're going to do the Houston route. And my ex-wife was... Yes. So you went up. You went ten. Yeah. So we went to Houston and came up forty-five. Damn, that add a bunch of time. <laughs> it added to the like drive. two and a half hours to the drive. Yeah. What a beating. Yeah. yeah I just, anytime you have to go through Houston, it's bad news anyway. Well, yeah, because Houston smells like ass. It's uh, <laughs> it smells like um, liquid ass. I don't know. It's right. it's just it's, right. it's it's like it's you get that you get hit with that that oily kind of gasoline mm -hmm. smell yeah. right when you get into yeah. town. Even though the you know factories are way on over near Galveston, right. it's just you just get hit with that and it's yeah. nasty. And no humidity. Our fans in Houston. The humidity but. keeps it in the air. Oh, I lived in Houston for like four years. Yeah. I, I love the town. I love the people there. Um, I have a lot of family there, and I have a good time every time I go. It just, it reeks. Speaking of our fans, I was looking at Potomatic while you were gone, mm -hmm. looking at our numbers. And I don't know if you noticed this. I started to send you a text, and I didn't. But mm -hmm. uh, we are strong still in Chile. Yeah. As a matter of fact, one day we had more Chilean downloads than we had United States downloads. It was really kind of cool. What so thank you guys yeah. in Chile. Thanks a lot. I, I would love for you guys to contact us, and even if we have to get the translate Google thing to be able to see what That'd you guys great. are saying. That'd but be great. Yeah, yeah, just you know, jump on YouTube or jump on uh, iTunes Facebook? and yeah, make some Facebook. comments yeah. so yeah. we can uh, see what you guys see in us over there. Like 40-something <laughs> downloads a day from Chile. Yeah, that's Great. awesome. That is cool. That that's is great. Cool. We're international, baby. Absolutely. Yep. So um, what did you do while I was gone? How did you survive? I don't know, man. I, like I said, I'm shocked you remembered how to get here. <laughs> but uh, no, it was lonely. It was lonely. There were many days where it was like, Brandon needs to stop by just so I can have something to say. <laughs> right. <laughs> i got to talk to someone. <laughs> uh, it's not just work-related. You know? Right, right, right. I got right. the light real quick because I was talking and not smoking. Yeah, I'm trying to keep this guy going, too. There we go. Mm. It's only the second time I've had to relight it since I've smoked, started, so yeah. that's good. So what? how did it, did it get dropped or something? How did it get damaged? I just noticed it was damaged in the box. Mm. So someone, you know, Pete, that's one, another cigar etiquette thing we can teach you guys real quick. If you're in a 
door. You're in a B&M. So, yeah, when you pick pick up a cigar, put it back in the box gently. Don't And if you drop it, let the proprietor know you dropped the cigar. He's not going to be mad at you, for the most part. He's not going to rip you a new one. But, you know, it's not fair to another customer to come in there and pick up a cigar that's been damaged, that you damaged. True, true, true. You know. Yep. Treat them as though they're your own. And uh, if you do pick one up with a cello and sniff it with a cello on, um, you're not going to get anything. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I did that Good once luck. when I came in here and you called yeah, me a noob. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing, noob? I'm like, I don't know, I'm trying to smell a cigar. <laughs> you can't smell it that way. And if you're going to smell it, smell the foot. Yes. Yeah, smell the foot. Don't smell it where someone's going to put their mouth. Smelly feet. That's, the, that's what the good stuff is anyways on the foot. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> man, it's kind of undone. Crap. I messed it up, man. Well, I didn't mess it up. No, you're still you're at the last third, so that's Yeah, I'm fine. almost there. I'm you're almost, almost there. there. Mm. Mm -hmm. My Alec Bradley punk is delicious. It is. That's a good cigar. I'm going to have one of those tonight. After I'm done with this. Yep. So I got um, <clears throat> some of the uh, Alec Bradley Sun Groans I was telling you about. Yeah. I got some of those um, sitting nicely, so once I get them to work, to where they're uh, ready to smoke, I'll bring you one. Okay. So you I'm can try that. I'm supposed to be getting a uh, Alec Bradley trilogy. I've never, I've heard of it. I've never mm -hmm. had it. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it's I don't even know if they, if they make it anymore. But yeah. Someone was telling me he found a place that has some, and he bought them, so he's going to bring me one. So that'll be interesting to try a new Alec Bradley. It always is always good to try new cigars and the brands that you like. Because mm -hmm. there's so many of them out there, I think uh, it's easy to get into a brand and, and stick with one or two cigars. But you know. It's always good to branch out and try some of the other stuff too. Um, I'm not a big Connecticut guy, but I had a uh, Occidental Reserve. That's uh, a nice semi recently. Yeah. yeah, I had I didn't, didn't even know I had it in my humidor. I was going through all my stuff mm -hmm. because I have a I have one humidor that's mostly singles, uh -huh. and I guess someone bombed me one of those, and I was like, oh hey, I didn't even know I had that. Like sweet, so I smoked it and I'm like that's good. It's a nice Connecticut, very creamy. Yep, that's, that's actually double Connecticut, uh, double Connecticut, huh. Connecticut binder and uh, wrapper. Cool. But uh, we do need to review. I've had two people in the past week say we need to review a Connecticut. So we do. Yeah. Need to do the 99? We'll do a 99 sometime. Yeah. Sweet. Within the next couple of reviews. Okay. The so upcoming, we have the. Uh, so next week, you're going to hear the uh, Oliva, mm -hmm. which uh, you're going to hear him. Jack saying. <laughs> Jack, tell me to say it right. Yeah. <laughs> Check me on that. <laughs> now, I was, now, to be fair, I was not saying Olivia. I was saying Oliva. Oliva, yeah. So I was still saying it right. I was just did the wrong inflection, wrong inflection of it should be Oliva instead right. of Oliva. Right. So whatever. Yeah, it's a great episode. Jack's a, g a great guest, and it's very informative. If you have any questions about Oliva, we might have addressed them in this podcast. Yep. And then after that, we'll have the La Roma de Cuba, me and mm -hmm. more. And then after that, we're probably going to have the uh, San Luis Ray Gen, Gen 2. 2. Yep. And uh, then uh, I'll take this real close to the show. Yeah. We should have a lot to meet. So we might do daily uh, 10, 15 minute ones on that. Yeah, for sure. Now, Matt is coming, going to the show, right? He's going to be back, back enough to go to the, the show. show. He should be back in time to go to the show. Okay, excellent. Right. And, and everybody, back. send your prayers out to um, uh, Matt Badosky if you can. He's uh, under the, a little bit under the weather right now. so He's had um, a rough year, but. Uh, just put him in your put, prayers. Absolutely. We, we, we need, appreciate that. Mainly because we need him to go to the show so we can get so we can get the good cigars. <laughs> right. Absolutely. I love it when he comes back because I usually get a bag of oh, yeah? stuff. Yeah. Well, you better grab two bags. Well, I, I told him. He said he was going to make sure he grabs stuff for you and, and Pedro. Cool. You know. Cool. Has Pedro started yet? Yeah, Pedro well, worked a couple weekends. Oh, yeah. Cool. Done, done, done. Yeah. Pedro got a celebrity. episode 14, or was it? Got a celebrity working at yeah. the Calypso Cigar Shop. In there. Yeah, and he's enjoying it. He, he uh, called me a little while ago, and he was asking, do we have this, do we have this, do we have this? And we, yeah, we've got it. So uh, hold this for me. And I'm like, okay. That's but cool. He, he's doing well. We're happy to have him. Oh, and uh, for people who are fans of the, uh, the uh, Pedro Martin episode, uh, we do have some bad news. Yes. Uh, apparently, that brand is no more. Yeah. Um, so is it the whole brand, or just yeah, that? The company's gone. Company's gone. So if you are a fan of the Pedro Martin Fiera, or if you even haven't tried it yet, now's the time to get them before they get scarce. So yeah. call the Calypso Cigar Shop and Lounge at 972-761-9903, and we'll, we don't have a lot left. And yeah. I know Matt wants to keep some for himself and for us, so yeah. we do have some, so just uh, give us a call. We'll and it's a damn do. good smoke, and I'm, I'm sad to see him go, but you know that happens sometimes. It could be a marketing it thing, it could be just they hit the market at the wrong time. Any number of reasons why uh, they don't, yeah. they weren't successful. Their funding could have been pulled. You know, yeah. you never know. You, you never know. These venture capitalists that they're all gung ho at first, and then they're not getting the results they want as quickly as they want, and they'll pull out, and that's ridiculous. But yeah, yeah, it's it's sometimes it's good to pull out. Sometimes yeah. it's not. That's what she said. Exactly. That's where I was going with that. <laughs> Set that one up on a tee. Yes, I did. <laughs> right out of the park. Right. 
Oh, so I had a great, and remember I told you the idea about my, my, yeah, bas my yeah. baseball thing. I had yeah. another great idea. Okay, oh, I had um, a good idea. You have a good idea? Okay. I have to remember it, though, but this, I do have one. The, I, had, I had a dream that um, I was playing golf with a friend, mm -hmm. and we went to a, um, a, golf, a golf place, kind of like, uh, what's that place where you go? And Top golf. Top golf, yeah. But they had combined two sports at Top Golf, and they had skeet golf. So you basically hit the ball, and, and someone shoots shoot the ball. That's yeah. awesome. That we need to great. do that. <laughs> that would be awesome. Skeet ball. <laughs> that guy would never have to pick up any balls. It <laughs> That's just, true. He wouldn't have to pay the cart kid to go. Exactly. And then I guess he'd probably have to have like an armor-plated cart. <laughs> <to get laughs> yeah, in case it starts to get a little guy, low. You can't yeah. pay that guy minimum wage. <laughs> yeah. So that was, a, that was one of my... Not a bad idea. That would be an That's awesome... funny. Mine had to do with skeet shooting too, but I can't remember what it was now. Oh, yeah? I had a skeet shooting thought. Wow. We're like sharing dreams now. We are in Texas, so mm -hmm. skeet shooting is a very popular sport mm -hmm. here. It is, it is. So so what do you think about the uh, T-52 overall? I think it's a very good smoke. I think I still would lean towards the 9, mm -hmm. uh, because I do like that cocoa-ness, cocoa, cocoa yeah. quality. But I do, uh, I like it a lot better than I remember. Okay, it's a very good. good cigar. Well, I am a, a big fan of the Alec Bradley Black Market Punk. If you um, can get it in your area, do so. If not, you definitely want to call Eclipso Cigar Shop and Lounge and pick some up. Um, we'll get you a deal on a fiver, um, as always. Yeah, buy four, get, get a fifth. Yep. Free. And uh, what's, the, what's the news on the website? Anything new? It's going to be a few weeks, but Damn we're, getting it, close. we're getting closer. We just had a major hiccup that was not expected, but mm -hmm. we're, we're fighting through it, and we'll, we'll be up and running soon. Soon we'll be in the 20th century. Soon. <laughs> soon. That's the thing. We were in the 20th century. We tried to become more 21st century. That's when it, that's yeah. when it, that's when it behind. Yeah. bottom dropped out. But <laughs> oh, well. Hey, you know, you just you go with it, and you move on. So. Absolutely. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. That's about a good uh, 15, 20 minutes I think we've got there. And um, we're going to do a couple more of these as we progress with the show just to give you guys a little bit extra um, stuff to listen yeah. to, yeah. Uh, content, Short I guess vignettes. we'll say. Yes. So as always, check us out on iTunes, Podomatic, Spreaker. Uh, YouTube videos are always there with the hotties. Facebook. And uh, Facebook for sure. Calypso Cigar Shop and Lounge on the Facebook. And uh, like us, add us, subscribe to us. Every little bit helps to uh, get us more listeners in Chile. <laughs> so we, we appreciate that. Thanks a lot, guys. Nice smoking with you.